probably starting to regret extending that open invite. I'd stop by a lot. No, it's, it's not a problem. I, I want you to come to me. Just like, like the other night, you were going to say something about what, what happened in Penville. I mean, do you want to talk about it? When um, something terrible happens, like the stuff of nightmares. Um, how, how long does that take to get over? Uh, you know, usually bad stuff happens fast and you gotta live through it slow. Another thing itself could, could happen like that in a second. But working your way through it, finding a way to live with it without letting it kill you. That's what takes time. I read something once, and I think I get what it means now. The soul isn't as resilient as the body. That makes sense. Yeah. Just remember that every day you're a step closer to healing and farther away from what happened. The only two people who really understand me are actually help me out or you and Abby. I talked to mom about Abby. Made her promise to back off. You think she will? I mean, did Carly actually promise? Yeah. Okay, well, I think she will. You know, your mom's only trying to help you, right? Yeah, I know. I know, but it's not possible. My mom is the last person I can explain what happened in Penville too? For a minute I thought it'd be Christina because of what she went through with Kiefer. Knowing firsthand what it's like, like no, no matter how hard you fight back, you can't win. Because the other person is bigger and stronger and relentless. I, I, I realized the difference was prison. Christina could have gotten out of her situation any time she wanted to. She, she, she could have gone to the cops or dad. She wasn't locked in a hellhole with somebody meaning to do her harm. She couldn't possibly comprehend that. But Abby did. Yeah, she did. Christina doesn't really realize anything's wrong, at least... Nothing that her hooking me up with her friends can't fix. Well, did you tell Christine you're not interested? Yeah, you, you kidding me? Tell us blue in the face. But Christine doesn't listen. She just plows ahead like she knows best. Reminds me of mom. Well, you gotta learn with Christina what I learned with your mom. You have to set those boundaries. As frustrating as it's gonna get, you gotta remember that they're they're both doing it out of love. Yeah, I get that. I do. It's just. It was different with Abby. She didn't push or demand, she just listened to me. She didn't try to convince me that I was feeling something else. She... She accepted me. The bad parts as well as the good. At least what she thought was good. What the hell is the point of even talking about this? Never gonna see Abby again. Get dressed. We're going ice skating. If you would listen to me speak, you would hear me say I am in the middle of working out right now. So no. Well, you can do that anytime. I want to do it now. That's a nice attitude. What can I say? It's about Ali's death, isn't it? I'm fine. Prove it. Get dressed and come ice skating with us. Us? It'll be fun. Chelsea's really nice. Oh, Christina. I'm sure she is. But it's not fair to Chelsea or me for you to insist on throwing us together when I told you over and over again I'm not interested. You haven't even spent enough time with Chelsea to know if you're interested or not. Yeah, I don't intend to either. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week, not ever. Could we to stop talking about this because I'm really getting tired of it. Honestly, Michael? 
When are you going to get over that hooker? Oh, hey, hey. Hi. I was wondering where you were. Mm. Sad to see, uh, had to see Bernie. Uh-oh. Nothing bad's coming down, huh? No, not with business. You know, just Michael. Abby. So worried about him, yeah. She's a big part of it. Oh, he, he misses her a lot. Well, it makes a lot of sense. They did have a connection. I know, but Michael's nowhere close to even getting over what happened to him in Pentonville. He's so angry. Doesn't get along with anybody, you know, especially girls his own age. And then he meets Abby and things got a little better. He eased up a little and now he's back to wanting to shut down because he feels betrayed. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? Well, I want to tell Michael that Abby lied to the cops to protect him. But is that the right thing to do? Or do I just leave it for Abby and Michael to figure out? I'm not in the mood to hear you tear Abby down, so you either change the subject or leave the way you came. You're never in the mood. But somebody has to stop tiptoeing around and be honest with you. And I don't mind if that's me. Fair warning, Christina. Thank you. Your girlfriend, Abby, takes her clothes off for money. That's just wrong. Yeah, aren't you so lucky to be in the position of being so judgmental? A girl has never been wanted for anything in her life. Yes, I've led a privileged life. But Abby could get a job anywhere. She could be a waitress at Kelly's. She could bartend at the Metro Court, and I bet they make great tips there. She doesn't have to swing around a pole and let creeps throw dollar bills at her. Abby chose her life. She's not even close to being good enough for you. It's not your call, Christina. Just being around her is dangerous for you. Where's your common sense? Don't you care if you go back to prison? Don't ever imply that I want to go back to that hellhole. You never left. Because you've been keeping everything locked up inside you. Abby's just another way to avoid facing the pain and moving on. I understand, Michael. Bad things happen to me, too. You have no idea what I deal with. Then tell me! Get the hell out! Michael! Because I said, leave me alone! You're just like Dad. When you can't deal with something, yeah. You want me gone? Fine. I'll be having fun with my friends while you're punching the hell out of a stupid bag. Sulking over a stripper. Interested. Oh, come on, you're just mad at me. Come on, get over it. You sick the cops on me, Brandon. <laughs> Never did that. But I won't say I'm sorry. Somebody dropped a dime on bonds. You don't belong there, Abby. Taking your clothes off for losers. You belong with me. We're over with. You need to deal with it. It'll never be over, Abby. I love you. You can't seriously expect me to give you up without a fight. That's your problem, Brandon. It always has to be a fight. Well, I'm not going to be your punching bag anymore. You're not walking me off, Abby. Hey, 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 come on, man. Let it go. Be boy still can. Yeah, who the hell are you? Somebody's going to give you a chance to walk away. Finish this. Who's that? That's my ex-boyfriend. Thank you for the save. Brandon has a hard time with the word no. How's Michael? Oh, he's not so good. He really misses you. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's me. It's me, okay? Sorry, I didn't hear you come in. It's a pretty intense workout you got going on. It's a workout. Don't psychoanalyze it. Last time I checked, you're not my shrink. No, I'm your brother, so it's even better. You can talk to me for free. I am so sick of people thinking that I need to talk. I have nothing to say about anything, including and especially prison. Michael is better off believing I'm a hooker. I saw him today. 
Trust me, he's not better off. He's shut down, he's angry, and it's all over a lie. Michael counts on you. You help him, that's all that matters right now. What do you want me to I do? I just want you to tell him the truth, that you lied to protect him. Just be his oh, no. friend. No. That's no. my lady. So you're the one who's leaving. I'm gonna blow your freaking head off. <laughs>